personally me i'm saying me i can't do a sex tape you know you have a very orthodox conservative perspective because my 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 standard my beliefs are totally different i remember many years ago when i was like ah let's go on top of, of a roof let me I'm remind you out. one fantasy. I'm making out. Shall I remind you yeah, one fantasy yeah. that you proposed to me some time ago? So today, we're talking about sex tips. It's really now. Everybody's coming out with their sex tips. And um, before, I think it was Kim Kardashian. And this happened many years ago with um, Z... Um, Ray J. Ray J, uh, Brandy's brother. And then, uh, recently we've been having sex tapes, the Nollywood actress, and we had issues with um, Tiwa Savage and everything. And now everybody's not coming up with, oh, I have a sex tape, I have a sex tape. Like, what is this sex tape trending? <laughs> First of all, what are your thoughts generally about <laughs> sex tapes? Do you think two consenting adults <sighs> can tip themselves having sex? Of course. Okay. You see, we, we all have our personal preferences because of who we are, the kind of experiences we've had, what we're exposed to, we accept different things and we reject different things. For me, personally, me, I'm saying me. I can't do a sex tape. I can't allow anybody in my family to do a sex tape. Why? I because my, 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 my standard, my beliefs are totally different. You see, we are all individuals. We are all unique in our own ways. The kind of background people have are totally different. And it forms what they are comfortable with and what they are not comfortable with. It's all part of what we call exposure or, or, or not. For me, the sex tape is a no-no. Okay, so now, when... but for people who do sex tapes... I don't have a problem with it. You are not my family. I can applaud you from a distance. I can gossip about you. I can mock you behind you. It's not a problem. Well, but now... two adults be allowed to... Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I didn't I say yeah, so yeah, already? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. said so. Okay, so what if you have a spouse who doesn't mind being taped and wants both of you to tape each other? Would you agree? Never. <laughs> Why? God forbid. <laughs> Hey, it's a fantasy. Wait, that's wait, way back. Wait, no. What, I, if, God, what if it's my fantasy? Uh, well, sorry, I can't fulfill that, that fantasy. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Because the truth is that you never know where anything is going to get to, where it will lead to, who will ha ha have a hold of it. I mean, that kind of thing can be used to blackmail you if you're somebody who actually cares. So even if they blackmail, so what? It's just a body. Oh, body. for crying out loud. If I, for, if I make the mistake and somebody had my sex tape yeah. and they are trying to blackmail me, honestly, I'm going to give everything for that sex tape not to be leaked to the public Why? because that is who I am. Mm. Like I said earlier, and the sex tape thing, let's look at it from the real... We are, we are not discussing the real issues here. Yeah, the, real issue? the real issue here is it's a commercial strategy. The truth is that... It's, I always say something like, we have to remember that. I know you have a very orthodox, conservative perspective. But in this world where everybody's exposed, people are thinking differently, there's something about um, being confident in who you are, in your body, mm. and not being ashamed. Yeah. So you don't even care if your sex tape gets out. You don't care if it's your body, big deal. Mm. So do you think, if you know somebody in your family who is ready to do that, would you, would you judge them because of their willingness to, to have a sex tape? You see, it's not likely that someone from my family... <laughs> Don't say that, ...will Brown. do that. It's very <laughs> unlikely. You know okay? who's doing behind their clothes. You, you, know, you know why it's unlikely. Right. You see, there, there is a certain way you raise people. And there are certain things they can never do. Some things can never be normal to them. For example, I came to Lagos and I see Le Lagos women marry one husband drop the husband, marry another husband, drop the husband, marry another one. That's not fair Cri on Lagos women. It happens across the, okay. across the country. Christopher, in all fairness... Ah, don't mention the, his name. <laughs> so, so sorry about that. In all fairness, at your Bafe Miawolowo University, Ilefe, where I was born and bred, bred, we never had any situation like that where a woman would leave one husband 
and marry another one. I'm sincerely, I'm telling you, bro, man, heaven did not fall. I know when heaven, it happened, heaven, heaven did not fall. Yes, uh -huh. the, truth so, is, the truth is, heaven did not fall. Uh -huh. But there are certain things we had never seen before. Even though if it happens, heaven will not fall. Okay. Heaven will not let's, fall for anything. Let's come back so, to this. But next because time. of that, I have I, I, I come across as a bit conservative. Yeah. It's not my plan to be actually conservative. Yeah. I would like to be funky, to be a little bit crazy, but the truth is I can't because of how I've been wired since I was a kid. So okay? for, for, but I try as much as possible to understand people, yeah. to understand where they're coming from. And I don't crucify, I don't judge. I just, just tell you, you don't... I just tell you that I don't do it. I can't do it. But you doing it, I don't judge you. Thumbs up. I would thank God you are not my family member anyway. <laughs> do you get? But I relate with you. I'm happy for you. Your, your achievement. You have successfully put your body out there. People see how sexy you are. Congratulations. I, I think you're probably getting... I think what you're talking about is just making the video, not like you're putting the video out. I think just making the sex thing. Yes, so let's focus on the idea of making it. The thinking behind it, if two adults yes. have a private agreement, consensual agreement to do something crazy. Okay. You know, I remember many years ago when a friend of mine was like, ah, let's go on top of, of a roof. You know, yes. he always had a fantasy of going on top of the roof. Let me remind and making you one out. fantasy. I'm making out. Shall I remind you yeah. one fantasy yeah. that you proposed to me some time ago? <laughs> Wait, Chris, uh, it's Wait, not it's that it. crazy. It's not, it's not a crazy thing. Yeah. At the time of our wedding, the plan was to have a chopper take us from the church to the reception. But after I discussed it with my people, and they told me, the chopper, that if the chopper crashes, that are you people crazy? You want to go and use your money to buy something that can kill you? You know, that was, that's who we are. We don't take unnecessary, unnecessary risks. Do you understand? So the same reason why I couldn't follow up on the chopper thing, the helicopter thing, is the same reason why I wouldn't do Mr. a Mr. Brown, thing. if I ask you today, pay you and I were private in our bedroom, let's mm. have a tip for the two of you. You say oh, no, Manje. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Manje, God forbid. I what, if, what, if, what if I want it? <laughs> uh, then you go and divorce me and marry somebody else that can give that to you. I can't do that with you. What, okay, okay, okay. What, what, what economic okay. benefit is that to you? <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. The real motivation mm. behind the sex tape Commercial for part. a lot of people. Yeah. That Kim Kardashian rose to fame on the strength of the sex tape with Ray J. Mm. Kim Kardashian was a nobody. She used to follow Paris Hilton up and down. Nobody, so, so sorry about that. Nobody cared about Kim Kardashian when she was younger. She was a tag along. She was living in the shadows of them Paris mm. Hilton. But immediately after that sex tape, it, we thought it was a joke. I watched the sex tape several times. And like a, like, like a joke, Kim started rising and rising mm. and rising. Right. Today, Kim is probably over a billion riches, dollars yeah. in worth. Are you missing? She's very wealthy. Because, and it, it didn't even pave the way for only her. It paved the way for all the sisters and all the half-sisters. They right. became great because of that. So a lot of people use it to get attention to get following, to get traction on the social mm -hmm. media. Right. So that's actually the, the essence real of it, the real yeah. objective yeah. of it. So a lot of people, they do the sex tape, but they can't just come out op openly to tell you that I just finished doing my sex tape, oh, oh yeah, come and watch. They will not lie to you that they, they leaked, leaked it. it. <laughs> Nobody leaked anything. <laughs> it was the original plan for the thing to be leaked. It was part of the script. Okay. Young, so that's the part yeah. I'm trying to address. Okay, all right. Point taken. Thank you for addressing it. Next. 